22 News Storm Team is forecasting that some areas could be getting a foot of snow and possibly more. 22 News reporter Christina DeMores joins us live from Springfield with a look at conditions there right now and the top concern among utility companies. Yeah, Sierra, I'm in downtown Springfield right now, just off of Main Street, and we're just experiencing some rain at this point, um, but that rain could turn into heavy wet snow overnight, which could affect power lines. And tonight I spoke with first responders about what to do in the event of a power outage. If you prepare before the outage occurs, you'll save yourself some time and worry. A nor'easter making its way through western Massachusetts and with a large amount of snow expected, storm damage and power outages are possible. Local fire departments say be prepared and have a plan. The things that we would be concerned with would be your heating system, how you're going to heat your home while the power is out. And if you're going to have to use supplemental heating or supplemental power, that you're using those things with caution. Lieutenant Spears says never operate a portable generator inside a home or even your garage and clear snow away from outside vents for fuel burning appliances to avoid carbon monoxide buildup. In addition to that, he says stay away from power lines and leave that to the professionals. Always assume that down power lines are live and make sure to avoid anything touching them, including cars, tree branches and even puddles. During a power outage, emergency medical responders say check on elderly family members and neighbors, especially if they rely on a medical device that needs power. Making sure that they're warm and have all the resources they need. Maybe it's helping shovel out their walkway, making sure walkways are shoveled is really the difference in time that it takes us to respond. AMR recommends portable battery power stations that operates without gas as a temporary emergency backup for certain electrical devices. And 22 News will have a live full team coverage of this storm tomorrow morning at 4.30. We're working for you in Springfield, Christina DeMores, 22 News.